the first finalist is candidate number candidate number 16 Miss Clarice Jade Antipuesto Our third finalist is none other than candidate number four, Miss Juliana Frasado. She is taking the fourth spot. Candidate number seven, SLMA Babilaran. Are you ready for our final finalist? I can't hear you! So for our final top five finalist is... Candidate number 12, Miss Hannah Christelle Malay! Alright, so our top five finalists will now face the final challenge of this evening. The question and answer portion where their wit, grace, and confidence will determine their chance to be the first ever Miss Universe Philippines Illegal. That is right, Sebs. Now, I just want to get in a little closer to our finalists, so come join me. Hi ladies, congratulations for making it this far. Okay. Now, this is already the final Q&A. And of course, this is actually one of my favorite parts because we get to get a chance to hear what these girls believe in and what they really are fighting for. And these ladies have one hurdle left between them and the crown. Now, Hi, Mr. Tonito. You can stay here on the other side. Mas closer na ko. Now, as you can see, Mr. Tonito has five questions in his hands. Each candidate will take a question. Excited na kayo mo. But I'm loving the energy because we're almost there and we're a few minutes away in finding out who our Miss Universe Philippines Iligan 2024. But before that, we need to find out which of these candidates will be able to fight through the final Q&A and that is in a few minutes. That's why when our candidate will be called, she will come here in front and join me here. She will get a question from Mr. Tonito and each candidate will get one minute to answer each question. Once your time is finished, you will hear this sound. Once you hear that sound, you need to wrap up your answers and your time is up. All right. Once again, congratulations to this top five contestants. And now, let's call on our first finalist, candidate number 16, Clarice Jade Antipuesto. Hi, Clarice. How are you feeling? I feel very emotional that I, you know, come this far. But you're the first candidate to be called. Are you nervous? Are you excited? I am very thankful, but also so nervous. All right. But there's one hurdle left between you and the crown. Are you ready? 
I am. All right, please take a question. So your question is, beauty pageants are often criticized as events that impose unrealistic beauty standards. How do you think beauty pageants can evolve to better reflect diverse beauty standards and inclusivity within our society? Again, beauty pageants are often criticized as events that impose unrealistic beauty standards. How do you think beauty pageants can evolve to better reflect diverse beauty standards and inclusivity within our society? Ladies and gentlemen, I stand here not because of my physical appearance, not because of what I am, but because of what I believe in, the values that I hold. And I think that for this society to become a diverse uh, society, I think we should uh, respect and respect the values that each other that holds. And I think that with this, we can have a beautiful world that is just. Thank you. Thank you so much for that very wonderful answer. Now we move on to our second finalist that is now called on stage. Miss Althea Eleonor Viejo. Hello, Althea. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm nervous, actually. But you're very. Are, are you nervous? Yes. Oh, just take a deep breath. You know, confidence is key to answering questions. But you've come this far. We are very proud of you. Just do your best, and you may now pick your good question. Your question is, what does being a responsible citizen of Iligan mean to you? And how would you use your platform to encourage others to be active participants in their community? Once more, what does being a responsible citizen of Iligan mean to you? And how would you use your platform to encourage others to be active participants in their community? Good evening. Iligan City is the city of adventurous destinations. We have a lot of waterfalls that we can offer. And by that, there are still a lot of people that do not, uh, like, that do not respect or protect our environment. And like, they, the waste management is not really enough. And for me, since I am a candidate of Miss Universe, that Miss Universe Philippines, and I do have a platform which is Waterfalls for All, Accessible Adventure in Iligan. This platform will help Iligan in, this platform will help Iligan in advancing and also improving our waterfalls that people might not be preserving enough, and that this will also help our people, our community to engage with. Thank you. Means your time is up. Dagang salamat candidate number two, Althea Eleanor Viejo. Please join us here in front, candidate number four, Juliana Fresado. Sure. If you feel comfortable holding the mic, please do so. Thank you. Hi, Juliana. I think you're one of the candidates that uh, were able to take a lot of special awards. That's what we call. Um, so how do you feel about it? Are you excited? Do you think it's a disadvantage being the Hakot Awardee? It is actually a mixture of excitement and grateful. Excitement because this is the grandest floor I have stepped into this far in my whole entire life. And grateful for all my supporters, starting from my family, close friends, 
teachers and mentors. Thank you so much, everyone. I actually have a private conversation to tell. I won't appear right now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes. But you know, you have just one minute. Just give us one minute and we're very excited to listen. Um, should we? On so many Let's just go? Okay. Go. Just, we just need one minute from you and you can pee, run to the restroom and be relaxed. Mas ma relax na ka later. I know you're very excited. We're all very excited as well. So uh, please pick a question. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? Always ready. All right, we're loving that energy. Take a deep breath in. Inhale. Hold it in, but don't hold it too long. Kaya basig ka. Huh? Okay, now your question. In what ways can beauty pageants help redefine beauty in a way that empowers Filipinas so they feel confident and beautiful in their own skin? Again, in what ways can beauty pageants help redefine beauty in a way that empowers Filipinas so they feel confident and beautiful in their own skin? Thank you. I believe that each and every one of us candidates is an embodiment of a new era of elevating beauty and inspiring confidence. As you can see, we have different, diverse cast of skin tones, but that doesn't mean that we are different. As a candidate, I stand here tonight not just Juliana Frisado, but someone who is confident with her skin, with her face, with her heart. And I want everyone to listen to my voice right now. Believe in yourself that you are beautiful. You are beautiful. It's not just about your physical appearance. It's within your heart. Thank you. Salamat, Juliana Fresado. Go ahead, be free. Release the energy. Thank you for that. Candidate number four. So now we call on our next candidate, candidate number seven, Miss Essel May Pabillara. How are you, Miss Essel? Hello, it's so nice to see you again, Chris. Hi, Essel. It's Hello. so nice to see you. Agreed. Now, I, I do have a, a fun fact with Essa. I think you're one of the oldest candidates here. Yes, I'm actually the ate of the candidates. Your ate is here. Yes, we're, we're both ate. So, how does it make you feel? Are you more burdened ba that you're the ate, you're the oldest? Not really at all, because the girls are so nice. There are some that are kind of reserved, so I had to like put on some games, Pinoy Henio, so everybody would not about the think about any negativity about the pageant, you know, as the ate, as the oldest. I feel like I have that responsibility to make them feel, like enjoy the pageant and be grateful for what we're having now. And we're actually sure that you've advised them with many experiences and many knowledge for them to get here. So I'm sure they're thankful for your ate advices as well. Hey, I, I do hope so, are you? <laughs> I do hope so. So you may now pick your question right. from... So your question is, as a beauty queen, how do you raise awareness about gender-based violence and advocate for the safety and well-being of women in Iligan City? Again, as a beauty queen, how would you raise awareness about gender-based violence and advocate for the safety and well-being of women in Iligan City? Thank you. For the past two years, we've seen immense changes in our city. With the Iligan Development Goals, we have been elevating progress and propelling growth. 
as a beauty queen, I could be of great help by utilizing this platform in cultivating programs that could raise awareness about gender-based violence and make, wim and make wim women feel safety here. And we can do this pragmatically by first having symposium where we could make people be more aware about the rights that they could have, the consequences that they have to face when these violences are being done. Aside from that, we could also integrate this with our education system. In this way, as Iliganons, we could steward a progressive city and with that, an Iligan that, it, that isn't just a destination but a legacy. And we can proudly say with how safe we are, Iligan balik balikan ni Asenso na mo Asenso pa. What a beautiful answer to that question. Congratulations once again, and thank you for that answer. And now let's call on our final finalist, candidate number 12, Hannah Crystal Mala. Hello. Hi. Um, do you want to be called Hannah or Crystal? Hannah. Hannah. Hannah, your, your family name is Malay or Malay? Malay, ma. Malay. Are you half? Yes, I am half oh, German wow. and half Filipina. Oh, wow. You know, Carla's husband is half German, half Filipino oh. also. I've been often asked if I'm half. I'm not half really, just half Filipina, half Filipino. <laughs> Depende on sa orasa. But, you know, um, how were you able to like fight through, do you think, ngayon mo hang German side is uh, the reason why you're on stage always in the fighting form? On sa man ang imohang murag advantage in that? Well, I'm just being true to myself. Oh. I love it. And that's how we should always be when we're on stage. Who's here with you tonight? Your family, friends? Yes, I'm with my Lola. Your Lola? My Where's Lola? Hello, Lola. Hi, Lola. A big shout out to Lola. Any message for Lola? Uh, hello, Ma. This is for you. <laughs> oh. And now you have one last hurdle. And this hurdle is just what's taking you between you and the crown. Are you ready for your question? Yes, I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit pressured because I'm the lost one candidate to be called, but I am ready. Don't <laughs> feel any pressure right now because you're very, very beautiful. And all of you deserve to be on this stage. So please take a question. Inhawa gamay. Inhale. Exhale. All right, so your question is, as a beautiful young woman of this internet generation, how do you preserve your sense of self-identity and confidence against the pressure of high beauty standards shown daily in social media? Again, as a beautiful young woman of this internet generation, how do you preserve your sense of self-identity and confidence against the pressure of high beauty standards shown daily in social media? As a beautiful young woman of this generation, I just want to be just be true, true to yourself. And that is why I am advocating about promoting quality education. I want people to advocate what is beauty for. Beauty is not just the outside, but in the inside. Just be yourself because beauty is always within you. Thank you. That was such a beautiful answer. Thank you once again, candidates, for those wonderful answers to our beautiful questions. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, your top five finalists. And at this point, the results will be in the hands of our judges. Keep up on a pressure, Gitkaya, because as you can see, as you can see, Seb, we have amazing, beautiful, witty, and smart ladies all from Iligan City and we're very very proud of it and at this point in a few minutes we will find out which of these five beautiful candidates will get to wear the crown and get home with the title of Miss Mimbalos. Universe. Spell oh, Mimbalot Falls. Na lang. Lang dika, Mimbalot <laughs> Falls. But yes, and we got to eat in uh, no, uh, different restaurants around Iligan. Okay, Momong Gudna, food trip is life. Diba? Maong good na. Kisa may ganahan mo kaon diri. Diba? Ay, asa man ako mga extra ricers. Mga unli rice. Hay naman mo. 
Diba? So yeah, it's been it's been really nice to be here in Iligan to go around and see a few more things. So I'm glad that I got to experience this. And, and that's thanks also to Miss Angel for inviting me to be part of the Miss Universe Philippines Iligan competition. Thank you, Miss Angel. Sana babalik ulit, teacher. But uh, Carla, Ganina, no, you had a very, very warm welcome. I think nang hakot kasi mong fans. Andagan ko gijikash. Pero ang sama ng imahang message sa imahang fans who are here tonight. Hi, kau gyud ang gianhin. Ro, oka gyud. Na bitaw, hi naman mga guapa. Hi naman mga guapo. Oh, kani dapat mas kusog ni na shagit ha. Hi naman na ang mga guapo sa una na ni guapa na. Hola, gedag barko. Mas taghandaghan na sila Mother Earth. Oo, yung mga takbiya, good na ang mga rainbow community. Ala, unsa? Sige, check ka sa ta. Ali sa. Nagin ko siya get into day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Grabe yung ka-supportive ang mga fans sa candidates. Grabe. And to the people that are watching live as well, to the camera, hello, live. Unsa? Unsa ko no? Balik tikuk-tikuk. Kus gaday kay bungol biya ang gor. Wala ito log. Hi. Unsa na siya dong or dai or both? Ay. They them. Unsa man na siya? Ala. Mo regard siya nako. Mo regard siya nako. May asim pas mother earth. Hi dong. Follow me. <laughs> Basin Gcash na Mother Earth. Uy, basin 1-5 ha. <laughs> Thank you so much ka. But also, there's one thing. Kung unsa man ang imohang excited ka, i-take home and i-share sa imohang balay dito sa Cebu, yung nag-uli ni mo from Iligan. Um, Naagid ta mga namain. <laughs> Dari sa Iligan. But um, I really love the fact that I, I'm a big picture taker, Mangyod. So, Nalingaw jud ko na nana jud kwe picture with the 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 ano malitbog fal malitbog batu. Check ka lagi ko kay stretch ni day mau ni tawag stretch kay wapay results. Ha? I know R. Check up atang. Ganang ka mo kanta na lang ko. Ay okay na. Nana result. Nana. Nana result. Okay na ta. Okay na ta. Let's move on. Lo oy ready na bi ako minus one. But really, I like taking pictures. So dagan ako ng pictures around Iligan City. So that's that's something I'm going to take home, and I'm gonna put in a picture frame so I can always look back that I had such a wonderful time here in Iligan. Finally, got to see the city of Iligan. And hopefully, also Carla, no, this won't be the last time na mo anhita sa Iligan City, and we get to finally visit. Hopefully, Maria Cristina Falls the next time, maybe next year, Mom Angel. Angel, back in a man. Back in a man, <laughs> next year. Sarado, actually, we tried to go to the Maria Cristina Falls, right? But it was closed. There was road construction. Yes. Yeah. So, May so, or back in a man. Next year, all right. <laughs> next year na lang. Okay na daw. Okay. <laughs> Daghang salamat, Carla Henry, our first ever Filipina to win Miss Earth. Thank you so much. Iliganons, daghang salamat kaayo og maayong buntag. <laughs> all right. I think we're now ready with our results. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us call back our candidates for the crowning moment. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our top five finalists. Candidate number 16, Clarice Jade Antipuesto. Candidate number two, 
Althea Eleanor Viejo. Candidate number four, Juliana Frisado. Candidate number seven, Essel May Pabillaran. And candidate number 12, Hannah Christel Malay. And ladies and gentlemen, we also have one last special award. And this is TNT Texas Choice Award. And the winner will receive a sash, smart 5G plus home, Wi-Fi, and bouquet. And to present the award is the TNT Agent Coordination, Amanda Menes, and TNT Sales Supervisor, Anna Atwil. And the winner! is candidate number one, Trixie May Magabo. Congratulations, Trixie McAbo. And now, are you ready for this priceless moment? And now, ladies and gentlemen, the results are in. And they are in the hands of Mr. Tony. Hi, Mr. Tonito. So in Chris's hands, so in Chris's hands is the final result of this very wonderful event. So Chris, your hand holds the power. Are we ready for this? Are you ready? Am I ready for this? Iligan, are you ready? All right, we begin with. Our Miss Iligan Charity 2024! And she to is! To present the award is Miss Martha Nena Rodriguez Jago. And Miss Indira Mala Pakasum Adjong. And Miss Joan D. Plastina. Our Miss Iligan Charity 2024 is candidate number. Clarice Jade Antipuesto, candidate number 2024. The next award would be Miss Iligan Heritage 2024. And to present the award is Mr. Michael Vincent, Vincent M. Gaite, Mr. Jerson Pinote, and Miss Mugs Q. Together with Mr. Paulo Arivalo. And the winner for Miss Iligan Heritage 2024 is...
candidate number candidate number 12 Miss Hannah Christelle Malay This award would be um, together with Miss Oliga 2023 first runner-up, Francine L. Simon. And now we only have three ladies left. Which of these ladies will go home with the title Miss Eliga and Diani 2024? And to present the award is Mr. Ariel Abregan, Professor Alizedni M. Detujalan, Mr. King Belmonte, together with Miss Eligan Heritage 2023. Stephanie Dominice. Our Miss Eliga Andy 2024 is candidate number. Who do you think it is, Eliga City? She is candidate number two, Althea Eleanor Viejo. Gentlemen, the Miss Universe Philippines Iligan will receive a gift certificate from Farah Abu Collection, a gift certificate from Vesti, dental services from Dr. Gretchen Torino Clinic, Miss Xiao Bella, dental services from Dr. Chavez Dental Clinic, Miss Robinson 2024 with gift certificate, Miss Travelsure International with five day travel tour package to Da Nang, Vietnam. Sponsored by Sarah Lab Incorporated and Travel Sir International. She will also be Miss Pina. Minor inclusions for Miss Universe Philippines League and winner includes gift certificates from Charmaine's Cake, AM Wellness and Spa, AM Restaurant, McDonald's, Highway 30 Fitness Center with a two year free gym membership. Set up overnight stay and premier room for two. Flower became from Pakulba Flower Shop and Precious MD Dermatology. And now we only have two ladies 
left. Which of these beautiful candidates gets to go home with the title Miss Universe Philippines Iligan 2024 and Miss Iligan Tourism 2024? Now we just want to be sure. The first name we announce is Miss Iligan Tourism 2024, which means the lady who will not be called will be our Miss Universe Philippines Iligan 2024. Again, we will announce first Miss Iligan Tourism 2024. And the winner will also receive 100,000 worth of gift certificate from H.J. Abergant Clinic. All right, Chris, this is the moment they've all been waiting for. Iligan, are you ready? All right. So to announce the winner for Miss Iligan Tourism 2024. Very exciting, Chris! Iligan, are you ready? The winner for Miss Iligan Tourism 2024 is... Candidate number... Tourism will be awarded by Miss Margiel Elaine Unchuan and Dr. Darwin Manubag. and will receive a green sash and 5,000 worth of Robinson's Grocery Robinson's Gift Certificate to be presented by Marketing Marketing of Officers Apple and Biko Regional Marketing Manager, Ms. Sheila Malubai, Mr. Carlo Rafundo, Ms. Jazzy Margaha, and the Senior Mall Manager of Robinson's Illegal. And our Miss Universe Philippines Illegal is also Miss Pina, to be awarded by Mark Squid and Paulo Arevalo.
please welcome Ms. Mag Square and Mr. Paulo Arevalo. Officer Hanna Padilla. Together with Together with Carla Henry. Miss Back Square. And Mr. Paulo Arivalo. Our very own local director of Miss Universe Philippines Liga, Miss Angel T. Law. 